Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to make the flower. Um, you could probably figure it out with all the previous videos, but um, uh, some of you guys were asking how you would do this, so I'll show you how I would do it. Um, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to take one of my flowers, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to move it to the world. Just so when I bring it into substance it will be in a like default position not be off somewhere um, weird so I'm gonna just snap it to the world by hitting X middle mouse and that looks good and I'm gonna go to modify freeze transformations and then I'm gonna export this out oops export selection do it as an FBX. All right, I have Substance Painter open, go to new. We wanna use a, the top one, ACM PBR Metallic Roughness, 4K, and we need OpenGL for Arnold. And, oh, let me navigate to my Correct place. All right, put it in the geometry, hit OK. And you'll see um, that I have my stuff in, and you'll see my UV layout. So I have everything on one material. So remember how texture sets are set up are if is, is, um, let me go over here. This has one material on everything. If I were to apply one material for only one on one of these petals, it would this would have its own texture set. But I'm applying one material for the whole thing. So I'm going to go over to here, and it looks like this. I have one thing here. I just name it flower. There you go. And now I need to look up and find a texture that we're gonna project on these petals. Okay, so I just went to Google and found an image here. I'm gonna save this and then I'm bring it into Photoshop. Okay, so I have this image. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm basically making it easier. So I'm cropping out one of the petals that's kind of straight on, that doesn't have a lot of, a lot of lighting information because we want the lighting information. I'm gonna hit Control X to copy it out or cut it out. Um, create Control V to pa paste it in. Um, why is that coming out weird color? Let me just do an image crop here and then rotate this. Um, we don't we want the lighting to come from the computer and not from your images so let's be aware that we don't want to bake in the lighting so we're trying to get just the color and the detail that's on there but not the lighting um, so I'm just rotating it so that when I project this on per per um, um, petal, it's going to be a lot easier to put it on. So I'm just going to crop it more. And then you can try to, if you're, if you want to, you can do this kind of thing. It's not super necessary where you're like pushing it out a bit more in those areas so that it's a little easier to project on your petal on the geometry. So I'm just doing this kind of thing. Just spreading out that texture a bit. Something like this. It's not super necessary, but it might be a little bit easier to get everything in there. You could, you could do something like this. All right, and then I'm gonna save this. Just save it probably in your 
project. So I say I usually say things as PNGs. I have the least amount of problems with that. And then I go to Substance Painter. There we go. And let's add it to our scene. So that was Petal. There it is. Hit open. Make sure that's a texture. I'll do Petal. Flower. And import. Okay. So now um, I have this. I just noticed a problem. I wonder what, how you guys, if you guys know. I forgot to smooth this, bake in the smooth. Because if I project this on, I'm going to get a lot of stretching. Because when I go to Maya, I'm going to hit three on this, and it's going to. This is what the render is going to look like. But if I project my textures on this, I'm going to get a lot of stretching when I press three. So I'm going to just going to hit mash smooth. Where are you? There you go. Go to the option box. Make sure that we have preserve edges and corners is on. And I'll probably do two and hit apply. There we go. So this is going to be a temporary model that we are going to paint on. Do the flower sports function. And then we're going to go up to substance painter. Oh, not, not Discord, Painter. Um, and then I'm going to go over to Edit Project Configuration. And I can replace that texture, or replace the model by doing that. Open. And I don't need to preserve the strokes. And hit OK. So now I have my smooth version. Um, and that's how you re-import a new model, by keep, but also keep your stuff. Um, it's, you know, sometimes you lose things, so just be aware of that. All right, so now I am going to drag this in here, put it in base color, and I'm going to, it by, I guess automatically it goes to warp projection, which is what we want. Um, and then I'm going to go and just scale there's so there's a few ways you could do this you could put it directly on your UVs if they're laid out well or you can do it on the model project it on the model so I'm going to scale this by hitting WER that's the same as Maya to scale it overall position rotate Looks like I need to rotate this all the way around so it's in the right position. And you'll notice that it's going on these other pedals. So we'll have to um, mask out. We're going to find the position for this one, mask out everything, and then uh, there we go. And then move it, basically move the whole layer. So I got a lot of it. So now I can go up here to edit vertices, move these so they're a little bit closer. I get less distortion. There we go. There we go. So there we have it in the right position. Maybe this is not quite in the center. If I remove this. If you don't have enough of these spans, you can go over here and add more spans, rows, things. But you, I think you have to do that before you start moving it. Um, you have to do that first. So, OK. <clears throat> So I have that. Now I'm going to add a black mask. And 
and add a paint layer and then go over here and make sure it's on white and select that so now I am masking out everything except for this pedal and I'll just name this pedal A now I'm just going to duplicate this I'm just going to remove this mask and basically I'm going to rotate it I need to get rid of this mask. All right, maybe remove, remove mask. And I'm basically just lining up that center. out of it. So I'm going to select everything there down to there and say group layers and I'll just name this petals color and then I'll go over and say add anchor point. So now I can go over on top I'm going to turn off the color because I want to use the color and then I'm going to add a black mask, go over and um, add a fill, and here add the anchor point. Oops, add the anchor point in the, in the fill, sorry. So now if I look at my mask, I've selected it, it looks like this. So that means most of the effect will, um, whatever I do in my shader will have le less effect in the darker areas. And I kind of want the opposite of that. So I'm going to add a levels and invert it. And then increase the, the mass or the contrast of it and go over here and I'm going to my material and raise up oops um, actually yeah I do want it to be rougher in those areas so you'll see there's a bit of more roughness in the veins and then I want to raise it up with a little bit of height. Like that. So now that really stands out more. Let's 
There we go. And then I can also do cool things. So I'll do height and rough. And I can add another layer. Actually, I'll just duplicate this whole layer. I'm going to make the veins glow. So I'm going to go over and say, duplicate. I need to go over to texture set settings, add that. Emission. Missive, we call it here. And there it is. Then go in here. Click emissive. I'm going to turn off everything. And then in this color, I can bring up the value there. And then I can go in here and probably bring up the the contrast. So it's showing up more it's more 